here we are back again tuning in to me semi live one may say this is right now happening in this moment but for right now we're gonna get past that fact and today we're gonna be diving into making i like to call them an audio reactive visual uh, we're gonna take some simple shapes we're gonna take a circle i'm gonna teach you how to import music into blender how to make it the object react how to make it react within certain parameters and i think that pretty much gets it started so let's take some time let's dive in and i'll see you uh within the blender what grounds all right <clears throat> here we are everyone um we got this new kind of layout <laughs> you can see me now but let's just go ahead and start this off so we're going to delete our default objects first and foremost. I'm going to start with some of the modeling just so we don't have to really think about it. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and create a let's create an icosphere. Icosphere. Bring it, uh, scale it by four. Bring it up a little bit. Duplicate it, scale it down. Let's take this, we're gonna do some a little bit more interesting. Press tab. Now first things first, let's subdivide it once. Press tab. Deselect everything. Go over here to the top a uh, little toolbar. Select, select random. And some phases. Go back up here again. Let's do it one more time. So like random. Delete some phases. Mm, one more time. Okay. Now what we're gonna do? Go over here to the modifier. Gonna click solidify. And we're just gonna. You can kind of see. You can make thickness go in. Let's make the thickness kind of extrude out a little bit. Now we have this like kind of cool, uh, like Kinder Egg kind of uh, thing. Okay. Now the second thing we're gonna do is what we're gonna do now is. <coughs> sorry, I had to clear my throat. Jeez, just woke up not too long ago. So excuse me for being a little bit groggy, just working my way through it. Now, the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this inside icon of sphere. Actually, start naming these things. Let's call this outer layer. Inside one, duplicate one more time and scale it up a little bit. That's Shift D, press S for all those that you know. Let me move this slower. I like to call them. We have our outer layer, and then this one's going to call it wireframe. I'm going to go over to the modifier tab, make it a wireframe. And in terms of creative freedom, I suggest you kind of just like think about how you want to flex that muscle. Um, you can play with it in many different ways, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. Our inside glow one, we're going to leave it by itself. We're going to add an emission shader to it. Let's set up our camera angles here. The front. Let's bring in our camera. See. Uh, move on the y axis. Let's view that camera. Let's just split our workspace so we can kind of see what the hell is going on here. You know what I mean? Uh oh. it up a little bit. Mm. Hmm. Just looking at it, like, <clears throat> would be the best starting point, but this is fine for now. It's going to be a whole animation anyways. So, now from here, let's just go ahead and activate the important stuff. Let's do it before we even start looking at the model uh the materials. 
activate ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space, reflections, very, very, very important things. Um, make sure if you have your resolution, if you want it to be more like Instagram or you want it to be like, like a square, there's this kind of view, 1080 by 1080. Region camera, Let's just go ahead and sometimes I like to turn on certain composition guides. It's really up to you. Okay, now we have our models kind of set up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and split it one more time so we can see our shaders. I'm going to start with the outer layer. I made a bit of like a metallic kind of let's just do material preview for now. I made a bit of like a metallic low roughness, something that kind of reflects a little bit. The wireframe. Just left it kind of like a basic material. You can name your materials if you want. Outer shell. The glow delete the principal BXDF, press X. Emission, so let's go ahead and snatch that right in. I'm gonna make this one green this time around. I'm gonna like five. Alright, let's see rendered now. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our background color. Just complete darkness. Cool beans. One thing you kinda see it's like uh could be nice to have a little more environment to interact with it before things start moving. So what you can do is make a quick little plane. Uh, make it bigger than that actually. Yeah, I just kind of scaled it by uh, <coughs> eight and then pressed eight again, duplicated it. Okay, new material. Let's just call it ground floor. And what I like to do sometimes to get that nice reflection, you could make it completely reflective, or you can get like this nice kind of rough metal kind of stuff. It's really up to you. Okay. So right now we have we have our ground floor, we have our model. Let's do a little bit of animating to make it look like what I was presenting. So. Uh, we don't really have to worry too much about a loop this time around. Uh, let's go ahead and take our outer shell. And we're going to rotate it on the z-axis. So, select a single keyframe and all the way to the end. You can do 360, you can do 720, or multiples of that, depending on how fast you want it to be. I'm going to make it kind of like simple. So we have that rotating, right? And let's go ahead and take our wireframe. And what we're going to do is we're going to do that same rotation, but on the other direction. So negative 360. So now, when you look at it, we have two different uh, things just kind of moving. Creating a very interesting environment. So the last part of this all, in terms of the animation, <coughs> is bringing in the music. Now, how do we bring in the music? Here's where things get a little bit fun. So, go ahead and make sure your file saved. I'm going to do that as well for myself. All right. And the next step is let's go over to the top. Kind of bar over here. These top tabs. It's your video editing. And what you're going to do now is go ahead and take whatever music file that you download, if you use any sort of YouTube to MP3 sites or anything of that sort, you're just going to go ahead, I believe, and drag and drop the song into Blender within this video editing tab for anyone that's following along behind. Click display waveform. Now you should be able to just click play and let me double check my, my volume settings right now on this recording device. I don't want to blow your heads your ears off. What you can do is just you can tweak with the volume right here. Alright. <coughs> so 
a little bit easier. To, sorry. What we can do is find the part of the song that you really like. Because right now, these a little time code here is corresponding to our timetable. And right now, I believe we only have it going to 250 frames, which is a few seconds, I think. So what I like to do is I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like not let you hear all this loud noise yet. It's going to find a part. All right, so here I am now with my audio. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna tune it a little bit down because I don't want to blow everyone's ears up. One thing, if anyone runs into issues here and there's no audio playing, I'm gonna tell you a quick fix. Just restart Blender and turn it back on. For some reason, sometimes uh, my audio just wouldn't be working, and it blow my mind. So the money making step out of all of it this is what you've come for this is what you've waited is how are we gonna make our little glowing object in there react to the audio so excuse me the way we're gonna do that is from some graph editor magic so let's go over here down to our timeline make it a graph editor what you need to do first and foremost is set a keyframe in the area that you want to animate the keyframe that we want to animate within our circle here is the scale. So insert keyframes into the scale. Oops. I may have put it on zero. I meant to put it on one. So highlight your keyframe. Come over here down to key. Bake sound to F curves. Once you click that, Blender is going to open up a little bit of a file selector. You're going to select the song that you want in whatever folder that you have it saved. Uh, this should be pretty self explanatory, but let me know if you run into any issues and I can clear this up in some social posts or something. Now, once you click Bake Sound to F Curves, your circle may get really small depending on the song that you chose. So if you look at mine. <laughs> It gets really, really, really tiny. So what you want to do here is I'm gonna do some fun stuff. You also want to pay close attention. I'm gonna press N over here while we're in our graph editor. Select one of the scales. So we have X, Y, and Z all changing. And you're gonna add the modifier envelope. What envelope does pretty much is it you can now play with the range of your animation. So I want to make sure I can still see this ball. Add a control point. And what we're going to do here is let's drag this out a little bit. We're going to just bring this up a bit. So I'm going to do like 2.3. Bring it to 0. Doesn't really matter. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click this like, copy. We're just going to paste this on over because let's see how it looks now. I could do it a little bit more. So let's just look over here at our height of it all. Three. Four. Two point five. Three point five. Just open up these. Just change your max a few times. And now if we look at it. You go walk out take you on cool. That's practically it. Depending on how you want to play with this, you would 
tinker around with that max value, but you want to make sure it's consistent on all three of those scales. And from there, I would say, for anyone looking to render this out, like before, head over to your render settings. Make sure your output is set to the video. Go to encoding. I personally like MP4s. Then make sure that you have an audio codec. I like MP3. And from there, you're ready to rock and roll. So, so once again, everyone, thank you for dropping by from here. Feel free to join the Discord and we can chat. I share tutorials that aren't mine, but I think are really useful in the Discord and just other resources. So don't be a stranger. Come say what's up and uh, I'll see you around. Peace out.